What's up guys, guys, I'm Binary Pals, Kyle here, and sorry my hair is such a mess, it's like 1.30 in the morning, or like 12.30 in the morning, I have school tomorrow, um, but I have really bad insomnia, so sleep isn't really my thing. So this week's topic on No Hope Lost is going to be advice week. I know it's hard to talk to people about it. You don't trust people. You don't want people to know. You don't want to let people in. I know this because I don't like letting people in. I don't tell people about what I've been through and what goes on in my life, what goes on in my daily routine, what happens to me, things like that. I don't tell people because I don't want people to know. I don't want people to know things about me just because of fear of being judged or bullied about it. And it does get hard. Not telling people about certain things does get really hard. Um, depression is not a joke. It's not something to be like... It's... The worst thing is like... Being triggered by certain things. You can be totally fine one second. You can be happy. Then somebody shows you something. Shows you a picture. Tells you something. And then you're... All of a sudden... It's like you're not ready you collapse, you're not sure what to do, you feel like you're hated by everyone. I know the feeling because I go through that a lot. And this might be a little bit of a longer video just because I want it to be more serious. So, yeah. Um, so, my topic is eating disorders because I've been through those. I'm still recovering. Can you not? Um, and basically what an eating disorder is, is anorexia, bulimia, anorexia nervosa, bulimia, and binge eating disorder. And I'm going to give you what all those mean. I can't look them up because I don't know where my iPod is to look them up. Um, so, but I'm just going to tell you there. Anorexia is... Starting it usually it starts out as like a diet to try and be more fit. I'm just like this brush. Um, usually it starts out as a diet to be more fit, and then you don't see results quick enough. And this is I'm also gonna put a trigger warning on the rest of this because it's going to get probably really triggering, and I don't want to trigger any of you guys because yeah, it's starting out not being like, you know, just a diet, like, okay, I want to lose a few pounds, look good for the summer, look good for the spring, just look good in general, be healthy, be stronger, and then you don't see the results that you want to see, and everyone else sees results, so you start cutting down on your diet, and then when you start cutting down on your diet, you start eating less, then you don't have the energy to exercise, and when you do, you're already you're not even gaining muscle mass you're just losing it because you don't have the energy to gain the muscle mass you don't have the protein to build it up and it really does suck it's one of the worst feelings ever to feel like people constantly are lying to you about your appearance it's one of the worst feelings ever. Um, and it just kind of sucks because you don't want to be like you don't want to tell anybody. You don't want anybody to figure out that you're hurting because the second that they do, they're going to try and get you help. And when they get you help, you're going to like lose all this quote-unquote progress of losing all your weight. And that is really hard to recover. Recovering, if you're recovering and or going through, I'm very proud of you already because recovering takes so much effort. It's so bad. Well, not so bad. It's recovering is amazing, but recovering is tiring and exhausting. And you don't want to get out of bed. It's hard. It really is. And what gets hard is relapses, and that relapses are. When you're, I'm gonna use self-harming for an example. When you haven't self-harmed, say for a few days, or a few months, or a few years, or I don't know, 
just if you've been clean for a certain amount of time and you're like, I've, I'm six months clean and then all of a sudden something happens, you get triggered or you get, or you're getting bullied and the bullying gets worse and things like that, then you relapse. But remember that relapse is all a part of recovery and that if you, I don't know. Relapses are all part of recovery, and I will always be proud of you, no matter what. I am proud of you right now, you watching this video, for coming this far, for living through what you've lived through. I am proud of you. I can't say I know what you've been through, because I don't. But, let me just say, it takes a hell of a lot of effort to still be here. It takes the most effort that you've ever put into your life to stay in your life to be to be barely surviving to just be like clinging on to life is so hard and to all of you out there who are reaching out and getting help I'm, I'm proud of you I'm gonna leave all the um for if you need to reach out for help the suicide to Trevor hotline the suicide hotline the LGBT hotline Basically all those helpful hotlines and um, So now let's move on to the next eating disorder which is bulimia and bulimia is where you can binge eat which binging is where you Eat a lot of food in a short amount of time and people binge to like Get their feelings away I haven't had binge eating this month. I'm mainly focusing on the anorexia in this. But I have had another eating disorder, which is an an uh, anorexia. Um, and it's basically where you just eat a lot in a short amount of time. I'm sorry, I don't know a lot about bulimia. Um, or, um, binging. Um, but basically, with bulimia, you get mad at yourself that you ate all that. Um, or am. Yeah, I have school tomorrow. Um, and then you go and throw it all up because you're mad at yourself and you want to lose weight and you're putting stuff in your system but you immediately take it out because you don't want to gain weight. And it is really hard. I know somebody who's bullying me and it's really hard. And then... It's just, once again, I'm proud of you for coming this far. Stay strong. You are more than a mom scale. And then, the third one is binge eating disorder, but I don't know very much about that, so I'm not going to get into detail with it since I don't know about it. But, I just want to say, like, I'm not, I'm not really going to talk about binge eating disorder because, like I said, I don't know a lot about it and I don't want to say something wrong and upset someone. So, I just want to say you are more than the number on the scale, and I know that's hard to believe. It's so hard to believe every day. And I want to say that you're strong and you're beautiful no matter what, and you can always, my links are down below, you can always message me over a social media platform, and I'll get back to you as soon as you, as, as soon as I can. I would preferably have you message me, DM me over Twitter, because Instagram, I notification through out of whack. Yeah. Um, just don't YouTube PM me because when you private message me on YouTube, I don't get it quickly because I can only read my PMs over my computer, which I don't use very much. You can't see, but it's over there. Um, and yeah, thanks for sticking around for about 10 minutes of me babbling on about eating disorders, but... You are strong, you are beautiful, you are more than the number on the scale. Stay strong, fellow YouTubers. Bye.